Hello and welcome to your advanced hypnosis session from hypnosisdownloads.com. You'll get the best results from your download by giving it your full attention. Please do not listen to it when you need to maintain concentration, such as when driving. Hello and welcome to psoriasis treatment from hypnosisdownloads.com. My name is Roger Elliott. I'm a director of Uncommon Knowledge. And to get the best from this session, please make sure you're seated in a comfortable chair or lying down somewhere you won't be interrupted for a while. Now, before you begin to drift into a deep state of relaxation and inner focus, I'm just going to say a few words about using hypnosis to reduce the symptoms of psoriasis. Firstly, it's important to understand that this session is not intended to be a replacement for medical treatment. It's to be used alongside medical care. If you've not yet seen a doctor about your symptoms or have self-diagnosed, please go and see a doctor as soon as you can. Having said that, the good news is that hypnosis is a powerful means of soothing, calming and reducing the symptoms of psoriasis, which is an autoimmune skin condition. This essentially means that your immune system has been acting in an overzealous way, specifically in relationship to your skin. Your white blood cells have been mistaking healthy skin cells for bacteria or a virus, and they've been repeatedly trying to attack them over time. This can cause itching and patches of raised reddish skin covered by a silvery white scale which may sometimes crack or bleed, causing significant discomfort. Now it's long been known what's going on in the mind can have a powerful impact on the workings of the body. For example, we know that using hypnosis we can alter physical responses within the body. People can cure warts, heal burns and even have major surgery without anaesthesia, all with the help of hypnosis which may be nature's best tool for inner change and self-directed healing. And hypnosis has also been used to retrain the immune system to help people eliminate allergies and reduce the symptoms associated with autoimmune conditions. As an inflammatory skin condition that can be triggered or exacerbated by stress, psoriasis has been found to be particularly responsive to hypnotic intervention. Researchers at the John Hopkins School of Medicine in Baltimore, Maryland, in the United States, carried out a three-month study into the use of hypnotherapy in adults suffering with stable, chronic, plaque-type psoriasis. Five patients were given specific positive suggestions about their skin, similar to the types of suggestions you'll hear as you relax deeply to this session. Six other patients were given neutral hypnotic suggestions that did not mention their disease or their skin. All of the patients showed some benefit, but those who were given hypnotic suggestions specifically directed at their psoriasis experienced much better healing. Although this was only a small-scale study, it suggests that hypnotherapy can be extremely useful as a therapeutic treatment for psoriasis, especially when an extended hypnotic induction, such as the one you're about to experience, is an integral part of the treatment. So you can look forward to discovering for yourself just how much better you can feel as you listen to this healing session and allow yourself to respond in the way that's just right for you. And right now you can. If you haven't done so yet, just close your eyes and begin to settle back and to settle down. As your unconscious mind, the part of you that dreams dreams at night, starts to get ready for you to begin to relax very deeply, a little bit more, with each and every out-breath being an opportunity to let go more and more completely into comfort and rest is something that the body is deeply familiar with, is it not? The rest of the deep, deep relaxation that you have here and now only just begun to drift deeply into the way the body starts to feel when you naturally allow yourself to relax all the way down deeper and deeper still. And people sometimes experience a very soothing feeling as they begin to drift off into such a comfortable place when beginning to sleep deeply at night as the facial muscles relax the jaw muscles loosen 
and the shoulders release, settling back and settling down more and more deeply now. And even if your conscious mind isn't fully aware of just how exactly you start to relax, your unconscious knows more than you do about how those arms can feel comfortably heavy as you notice a wave of comfort flowing down the arms, into the hands, and into the fingers, now or in a few moments. And those legs too, naturally begin to relax, whenever deep, restful sleep is about to happen. How the muscles in the right leg, in the thigh, in the calf, all the way down to the foot, feel a deep sense of comfort. A soothing sense of healing calm as you breathe rest and comfort all the way down through the right leg. That's it. And then the left leg can really experience that rest. And the rest of the leg, down through the thigh, down through the calf muscle, down into the foot, can relax and rest completely now, or in just a moment or so, like when you focus your mind into the feet and toes as they start to feel comfortably heavy and at rest. And it's interesting to know that as a person starts to drift into such a comfortable sleep, the toes and feet may start to feel a little warmer and the hands and fingers warm just a little, as they really start to relax deeply. And you really don't have to try to do anything, like trying to pay attention to my words, because it really doesn't matter whether you focus on what I am saying, or let your mind wander and just drift into deep relaxation. Because no matter where, your mind can begin to wander as you relax to this. A part of you which is a part from your conscious part, the deeper unconscious intelligence within you that keeps your heart beating, that keeps you breathing, that digests your food without you having to think about that consciously, can listen at a deeper level and know just how and when to really respond hypnotically to the words. And you may find that you drift beautifully and surprisingly deeply this very time as you relax to these words. 
and it may be that it's already the next time when you really notice you have started to just respond so powerfully and well to this. And whether you consciously notice or unconsciously discern a filtering kind of comfort, the kind of comfort that feels so kind to the body and mind, the way deep relaxation can rest and soothe and flow where it needs to flow, bringing a soothing calmness and ease to the mind and all through the skin, as you relax even more completely now. And you can even project your mind, not just into other times and places, like you do when you begin to dream deeply and forget about the outside world as you become totally absorbed into your dream. But even outwards, into the space around your body right now, and the way even the air itself begins to feel relaxed around you the air itself starting to feel soothed, just as it becomes soothing to you. Almost as if you could see in your mind's eye sometimes, every particle of you just beginning to feel so calm, so rested and restful, so healed and healing, as if you can look deep within and start to see the soothing calm within the skin. The immune cells themselves calm right down, recognizing that the skin cells are part of the team that you're all on the same side, a respected member of the team, and the immune system can direct its attention elsewhere. It's been given a code green now. When it comes to the skin, code green, and the immune cells can realize they've just encountered a member of their own team, their own side, and so they can calmly and efficiently move on and get on with their job elsewhere. As you relax deeper and deeper still, like seeing right into the very molecules and atoms, everything soothing and calming now and coming to rest inside. And you can be so gently aware of how the air around your skin can just begin to feel so soothing. The way some kinds of light are just more comforting and gentle. The way you may have seen it sometimes, filtering down through the treetops, 
or reflecting silver from the surface of that beautiful, cool water. Bringing a kind of kaleidoscopic gentleness and peace to everything it touches. Caressing every part of you with a kind of kind, universal, natural healing process right the way through you now as you relax deeper. And as you drift gently deeper down into the inner realms of your being, your unconscious mind can set to work while you rest, acting on your behalf to ease and soothe that part of you that was overdoing things beginning to smooth things out, calming down, letting you, sooner than you might think, really begin to notice smooth, healthy skin. And once long ago, by the side of an endless lake, that reflected the night stars, sparkling in its cool and healing surface, there lived a young Native American woman, whose stepmother treated her very harshly. She would make her do all the chores, and cause her a great deal of pain and discomfort sometimes holding her close to the fire and shouting at her for not doing her chores fast enough. And the young girl would wonder to herself why it should be her misfortune to suffer in this way. And over time, the embers of that fire burned her skin causing the skin to blister and scar. Now, local legend in that place held that a magical, invisible being dwelled at one end of the lake, and that this invisible one wanted above everything to marry a human woman and so to become visible again, and thus be able to exercise his healing powers and cure the sick. But he could not marry just any woman, only one who could see him. And it was customary, as the sun was setting in the evening, for all the young women in the same tribe to go down to the lake and wait to see at a certain hour whether they could see the invisible one and therefore become his bride. But not one of them could even sense his presence, let alone see him with their eyes. Now, by some miracle in this young woman's heart, a tiny seed of possibility grew into a shoot of conceivability and bloomed into a beautiful flower of hope that perhaps she was the one destined to see and marry the Invisible One. And so one evening, as the stars began to twinkle above, the silver-smooth, cool, calm lake, shimmering with untold possibility, 
She did her best to cover her scars with chalk powder and secretly strolled down to the edge of the mighty lake. But her stepmother soon discerned what she was doing and called out to her mockingly and laughed. For how could a lowly girl like her even dare to dream that she was the one for this mystical being where so many others had failed. But she ignored them and continued resolutely on her way. And eventually she arrived at the water's edge and stood and waited there by the lake. And suddenly there he was. She saw him with her very own eyes and sensed his mighty power, his sleigh string comprised of a hundred thousand million stars and his bowstring, the evening rainbow. And as the sun was sinking away into the water, she greeted him, and he returned her greeting kindly. For he could see what others could not see. And he led her into his abode, and sat her down gently. And without another word, he produced a pail of cool, glowing liquid, in which he cupped his hands raised the shining liquid and began to gently wash her skin and to rapidly soothe and heal all those old scars completely. And the young woman felt her skin and discovered it to be smooth and healthy, completely smooth and healthy now, and in time they married and lived their lives together, happy and free. And in a few seconds, you can really begin to sense the sensation of those parts of you that had been affected, beginning to feel the healing, like water filtering through a dry and barren land, bringing such a cool, comfortable healing almost as if you can see and hear and sense and feel this healing working upon you at the very deepest level of your being. That's good. And you can just get a sense of seeing yourself there in the future with smooth, healthy skin. Getting a sense of that now, of this change taking place over the coming days and weeks. And this soothing healing that you've set in motion here is going to be active even as you sleep, so deeply, from here on in, so you can sometimes be so surprised and delighted by noting your own healing in the morning.
and you can listen to this session often. And you can deepen this healing calm and comfort in your skin each time that you do. And for now, it's time to prepare to come all the way back to full alertness, back to the here and now, as you notice the position of your body and the sensation of whatever it is you're resting on. Coming back feeling rested and alert, and you can come all the way back now, feeling very good. And if you like, you can have a nice stretch. And then whenever you're ready, just open your eyes. Good. Now we recommend that you listen to this session every day for the first week, and then just as often as you like, until you notice you're experiencing a significant improvement in the condition of your skin, and that you're feeling more physically comfortable and relaxed as a consequence. And we'd love to hear from you, either on the Uncommon Knowledge Facebook page or through the contact form on our site. There are associated sessions at hypnosisdownloads.com that you may find useful, such as Life's Journey,